In this playground AI tutorial, I will show you how you can expand the region of any image using playground AI's canvas. Here you have a beautiful image and you want to make it landscape like. Similarly, if you have a portrait where some part of the head is cut off, you can complete it like this. Additionally, if you have an image with an unwanted object, you can easily remove it using playground canvas like this. Watch the video until the end. I will guide you through these easy steps to transform your images using Playground AI's powerful features. So hello wonderful people. I am Vishwa and welcome back to our YouTube channel. If you haven't subscribed to our YouTube channel yet, hit that subscribe button. Without further delay, let's get started. So you can see I have already opened the website playgroundai.com. I have provided the link in the description. You can just click on that link and it will take you to this website. Also, I have already uploaded detailed tutorial on Playground AI in that I have explained everything from the starting how to access Playground AI, how to use each and every setting and features of Playground AI. So if you want to have the thorough understanding of Playground AI, so you can watch that video. You can find the link in the i button or the description of this video. So now to access the canvas, you have two ways. You can just click on this uh, Playground here and click on your canvas files so here you can see new canvas file just click on the new canvas file and canvas will open or you can uh, import your existing canvas file in uh, all canvas file you will find your all canvas another way just go to the community feed and here at the right hand side you can see create just click on this arrow and click on a new canvas file and your canvas will open so this is the canvas you can see and this is a generation frame fourth option which help us to generate the images and here is the text box here we just type the prompt or text to generate the images now what we will do first of all we will generate the image and simultaneously we will understand the settings and features I have already copied the prompt, I'll just paste it. I will provide the prompt in the description as well, if you want to follow along. Here um, in image to image, I'm not adding anything. Uh, in filter, I'm going to use this realistic vision too, because I want to create the realistic image. Here you can add the negative prompts. I don't want my image blurry, so I'm just writing there blurry, you can um, add more. Here in prompt guidance, just keep it 7, quality and details 50. Here just tick and number of images, I'm just skipping one. Um, show advanced options. Uh, here in samplers, I'm just using the Euler Ancestral. And here at the bottom, right bottom, you can see zoom in and zoom out option. You can do same setting in the starting, later you can explore. Now I'm just clicking on generate. So this is the image we got. If you don't like, you can just click on generate to generate the image again. The generation frame is 512 by 512. So because of that, our image will be 512 by 512 as well. Yeah. So this is the output we got. I'll just click on uh, generate one more time. I did not like uh, that that much. I like the first image only. So what I will do, I can just do undo here to get my first image okay so I like this you can just skip the image whatever you like now the as I said this is a 512 by 512 frame now I want to expand this image or we can say create the landscape of this image so for that uh, I'm just uh, placing this generation frame here like this half inside image and half outside to give the information to AI to generate the image uh, according to this image because we want the image that should uh, look like one image should not look like a, a different image now i'm just clicking on generate if you don't keep half inside and half outside the frame so you may not get the uh, desired output so we got this result and i think it's matching it's looking like a one image only i'll just do one more time i want to expand more generate 
I'll just undo this and I will uh, generate this again. You can do the same if you don't like something. So this is uh, fine. It's looking one image only. So we can expand the image from bottom as well. Keeping the same guidelines in the mind, half inside, half outside. I'll just uh, zoom out. Now I'll click on generate. Wow, it's matching. I will complete this image. Look how I am placing it. It is half inside here as well and here as well. Now generate. I'll just complete this. Generate. So this is the final output we got. It's good. I'll just zoom it again. So it's looking beautiful. And if you uh, just click on this uh, image, so here you can see different options. So if you want to just copy this image, so you can just copy and you can just paste it. Control V. I'm just relating it. Again, uh, if you want to crop, so uh, you can crop as well. So I'll crop it to make it um, landscape. And click on done. After that, if you want to download the same image, you can download by just by clicking on download. This is our image. Here is image to image. If you want to create image from image, if you want to remove the background of the image, so for that and if you want to delete, so this is the delete option. I'm just clicking on generation frame again. Now what I will do here, you can see trees. So I want to change the color of those trees. So we can try different things here. We can change the color of the trees we can add more trees so i will show you so here you can see pencil tool last here you can see brush size so i'll just keep it 60 and what i will do now i will just color this so it's mix yellow and uh, green trees so just paint it properly brush it properly now i will just uh, remove this uh, prompt and i will add here change color of trees to yellow and I'm just clicking on generate you can see the color has changed it's not looking good but still uh, you understood like how we can change the things I'll just undo this uh, now here you can see here are less trees okay and here are uh, stones so we can add here tree as well so I'll just uh, pen this thing I will just ask to add trees here add more trees and click on generate similarly you can change the color of the water or you can place any different object so you can see the trees are added here you can make changes like this once you are done if you want to rename this so you can just rename it i'll just rename it uh, uh, jungle enter after that if you want to just save this in the local machine so you can just click uh, over here file save local copy okay so the extension is pg that is the playground and you can import that as well go just go to files and here click on import uh, canvas file and here you can see here is the file i'm just clicking on open and importing project file here you can see um, so this is our saved project right so you can do like this now i will just delete this will show you different thing now i will import the external image the first option you can see import image just click on that from computer from playground so i want to import from computer so i just clicked on that and i just added one image you can see first i will just crop it done this is our image so here you can see a girl is walking here so if you want to remove any object like this this girl after that this thing if you want to remove so you can do that easily here so for that you are going to use this tool here you can see one two three four fifth option uh, eraser we called it eraser so here are 
टू इरेजर सिंपल इरेजर एंड ऑब्जेक्ट इरेजर सो वी आर गोइंग टू यूज द ऑब्जेक्ट इरेजर एंड नाउ वॉट आई एम गोइंग टू डू आई एम जस्ट गोइंग टू पेंट दिस गर्ल ओके नाउ वंस डन जस्ट क्लिक ऑन इरेज इयर yes here you can see the girl is no more here so you can remove any object like this i'll just show you one more time i'll just remove this just paint it and i'm just clicking on erase did you notice that object uh, has been vanished we are not feeling like uh, there was something here before right so this is great now we will just expand this image so what i'm uh, so what i'm doing here uh, i'll just expand uh, this part of the thing is here we are not going to use any prompt so we can uh, like before we were using the prompt the same prompt and here i don't know prompt of this image i'm just uh, keeping this uh, half inside half uh, outside adjusting the frame I'll just zoom out little bit and now click on generate so this is what we got i'll just change the filter uh, to realistic vision 2 and now i will just click on generate so you can see we just clicked on generate and we got this not looking like a one image this is completely different thing so if this kind of thing happens so what we can do we can just undo and after that this edges you can see we can just erase this edges for that we are going to use the simple eraser here is the eraser the simple eraser we are going to use and we are just going to erase this edges i just erase the edges now i will click on this generation frame again i will just move this and now i'll just try to generate it again so now it's looking like a one image only so if you are not getting the good result so there are two things you need to keep in mind you need to keep this frame half inside and half outside and you are doing the same okay you are keeping it half inside and half outside still you are not getting the good output so for that what you can do i just uh, ask you just go to this simple eraser and just erase the edges okay and then try try to generate again and you will get the output and if you don't get uh, just you can just keep clicking on generate this is one of the uh, way to get the better images if you want you can save this as well i'll just delete this image i'll just import one more image from computer so you can see this image the head part is cut off here so we can regenerate that as well so many time happens that we have the very good portrait of ourselves or any image okay and that is incomplete some part is missing like here the head is missing so we we can regenerate that easily so for that what we will do i am just clicking on this generation frame i'm just clicking on this generation frame and here i'll just keep it half inside and half outside and now i'll just click on generate so i just uh, place the frame half inside and half outside and i'm just clicking on generate now wow this is the result we got and i really like the result it just complete the incomplete image now this is very good image but you can see here is some uh, things letters which we don't want we can use the object eraser to erase that and it's gone isn't it amazing it is right and this is how you can regenerate the missing part of your image and this is really cool here you can do one more thing you can import the image from playground as well i'm just duplicating the playground tab you can just go to playground so here one more option of importing from playground so i'm just going to playground i'll just select this image now i'm just copying the link and here i'll just click import 
from playground and here i'll just paste that link and import so what will happen that image will be imported here in canvas can you see so you can use this feature as well so overall this is very good tool for the photo editing and there are many things it's offering here regeneration object removing using different filter generating the images changing some part of the image literally you can do anything here and it's keep on enhancing that was it click on the left video to watch a detailed playground tutorial and click on the right video to edit your own images with imaginary attire using playground ai if you enjoyed this tutorial please like and subscribe to our channel for more amazing content thank you so much for watching